here. And the same on this side. Like this. Next to the second side. And if you don't have a zigzag machine, you can make it by a regular machine. <laughs> by regular machine, by hand, so anything is possible. Yeah. And then you can cut this extra to keep it clean and nice. So what do we need? If you remember, we transfer this line, folding line, right? Lapel folding line. So now I need to transfer, like put a few marks on the other side. Why? Because this side is dirty. <laughs> I will say not dirty. This side is more clean. I want to use, uh, keep this side clean. Um, and I'm going to put horse here like this. Right along that line. Yes. And I'm gonna put this fabric here, like that, and put few more stitches, few more pins, one here, here, and one here. And again, uh, many people are doing different ways, like some people are doing making loose here. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do straight and you will see the result. Result will be good. So, let's stitch it. I'm gonna start from the top. First two stitches uh, start from here. And, uh, and then I will start down here, about like three inches down from the shoulder. Time to put the mic and cover this up. Like this. Cover it all. And again put one more one pin here, another one here. Make sure all of the edges of the first hair are covered. Yeah. You can't see the edge of the canvas, but you can feel it. Yeah. So here I give this double stitch. And I will say you can also like stitch it. Okay. 
That's just one stitch down the middle. You eh? can do two or three, so it's fine. It's so you did two around and then maybe two or three in the middle. Yeah. It's also possible to stitch the domette with the horsehair, but then it's just not as clean on the domette side. So we have mark here like darts. So we're gonna cut like this on the waistline to the darts and then cut the dots like this like this and here also if you remember let's let's cut this extra and you can see it better here we made the darts also And now we're gonna take this bias tape. So this bias tape is single fold bias tape that we've pressed flat. Yeah, but again, like I said, it can be mended, not necessarily. To have. Yeah, it could be the canvas if the canvas is not very heavy. <laughs> and then stitch to meet like this so Archer cut the mm -hmm. you cut I just want to show carefully mm -hmm. that you cut the dart yeah uh, this open. way and then when you stitched it, you stitched As you, it close. You remember I, I cut here uh, extra. Mm -hmm. That's why I did, because when you uh, stitch the darts, it's coming smaller this side. Yes. And now let's put the tape here. And it's put under. That. Let's turn it again. Stitch to meet the other side, right? Like this. Here you just can stitch it like that, or you can leave it as you like. Yeah, and you just cut it like this. So let's say the canvas is ready. Now we're going to press it. Let's go to the ironing table, right? Yes. Let's go. So I will take the water and just spray it. This canvas is pre-washed. But, but this canvas has been washed and dried in the sun and it's balanced. So this is amazing canvas, but still, every fabric shrinks a little bit yeah. over the course of its life. It's better, it's better. Steam it also, press it well. So here, just flat, like this. Here also, flat. Now I'm going to show you how to press here. So the our chest going this way. I'm going to take iron and hold it like this. Or you can put something here, like anything like that. And press it. Just water. This, keep it, hold it more, don't worry. And then you can use it again this way, from here to here. And steam it.
Then I will take this tailoring pressing board. If you don't have right. this pressing board, it's okay. You can do it on the you table. You can do it on also, the edge of the table. But because we have it, we'll use what we have. Again, I'm pressing this way. Always same direction. So why we pressing this way again? Because the chair is going that way. This way. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what you want. chest already. That shape is very much like the body shape we need. <coughs> yeah, so and what else I'm, I will recommend it. I like to have a good result. So you can do anything, it's just uh, totally enough. Like, uh, the usually I'm using like mannequins also. Uh -huh. I will give it to the mannequin for all night. Let's just spin it. And this. And here. And here. One more here. And one more in the waistline. Arthur, mm -hmm. I know that pressing yeah. is one is one of the most important parts of tailoring. That's true. And that That's good true. pressing can make or break a jacket. Iron is a friend of the tailors. <laughs> <laughs> so here you're trying to really shape the canvas into the way that you want it to be on the body. Yeah. yeah. So. And good. And it can stay all night. And tomorrow we can continue. As you see, it's shaped to the body here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, great. Tomorrow we'll continue, eh? Yeah, I can show tomorrow how to make um, by hand. As you can tell, it's the end of our day. So we're going to stop. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>